What if an object from deep space held clues to other planetary systems? 3i Atlas gave us that chance. It was the second interstellar visitor ever found, but its erratic brightness and unusual trajectory defied every expectation. Was it a fragile comet? A rubble pile? As it approached our sun, it began to fragment and vanish. What did its death reveal about its alien origin? What if an object from deep space wasn't just a random rock, but held clues to the formation of other planetary systems? 3. iAtlas offers that rare chance, but its properties are puzzling experts. Its changing brightness and trajectory present a mystery. This video breaks down the key findings, separates confirmed data from speculation, and explains what makes this visitor so unusual. By the end, you'll understand the leading ideas about what it could be and why it matters for our search for life's building blocks across the galaxy. The second interstellar visitor. In 2019, the Atlas Survey in Hawaii detected an object moving at a speed and on a path that immediately stood out. Its trajectory was not a closed orbit around our Sun. This meant it was an interstellar object, a term for any small body that is not gravitationally bound to a star and is simply passing through a solar system. 3. iAtlas became only the second such visitor ever identified, following one eye, Oumuamua, two years prior. The discovery of a second interstellar object was significant because it suggested these visitors might be more common than previously thought. It also provided a crucial new data point for comparison. While Oumuamua was discovered as it was leaving our solar system, limiting observation time, 3i Atlas was found while still approaching. This gave astronomers a much longer window to study it with more advanced telescopes and planning. The initial data from its discovery showed a hyperbolic orbit, which is the mathematical confirmation of an object that will not return. Its high velocity confirmed it was not from here. The early observations pointed toward it being a comet. It appeared as a faint, diffuse object, which is typical for comets as they begin to warm and release gas and dust. However, subtle differences soon emerged. Its brightness did not increase as steadily as models predicted for a standard comet approaching the Sun. The object's path also showed small, non-gravitational deviations. These are slight changes in trajectory, not caused by gravity alone, often due to outgassing like a comet's jet engine. But the pattern was unusual. Confirming that 3i Atlas was an interstellar visitor was a major first step but it was arguably the simplest part of the analysis. The real work began with understanding its physical properties. The object's exotic origin was settled, yet its strange behavior from the very start indicated it was not a typical comet. This laid the foundation for the deeper mysteries that follow. Pinpointing where it came from was straightforward compared to the challenge of figuring out what it actually is the puzzling light curve. To understand a distant object like this, astronomers rely heavily on its light curve. A light curve is simply a graph showing how an object's brightness changes over time. This pattern can reveal the object's rotation rate, its shape, and even something about its surface composition. For a typical comet, the light curve often shows a regular, predictable pattern as the icy nucleus spins and different parts reflect sunlight. The light curve for 3i Atlas, however, was far from typical. Instead of a smooth, repeating pattern, the object's brightness fluctuated in extreme and erratic ways. The changes were large and rapid, unlike the more gentle variations seen with most asteroids or comets. This kind of flickering strongly suggested an object with a highly irregular shape. One leading hypothesis is that 3i Atlas was extremely elongated, like a cigar, or had a very lumpy, uneven structure. As it rotated, 
the amount of surface area facing Earth and the Sun would change dramatically, causing the wild swings in brightness. Another possibility is that its surface had areas with wildly different reflective properties. Imagine one dark, rocky side and one bright, dusty side spinning into view. The data also showed brief, sharp increases in brightness that looked like outbursts. These are often caused by sudden releases of dust from a comet. Yet, 3. I-Atlas never developed the clear, extended tail that such dust releases usually produce. This was a key point of confusion. It was acting like a comet in some ways, but not in others. Astronomers developed conflicting hypotheses to explain this strange behavior. The consensus view leaned toward it being a very fragile comet one whose outbursts were too weak to form a prominent tail. An alternative hypothesis suggested it could be a collection of loose rubble, where individual chunks breaking away would cause the flickering. The unusual light curve pointed to a highly unusual physical structure, one that didn't fit neatly into our existing categories of asteroids or comets. Just as researchers were grappling with what its flickering light meant, the object's story took an even more dramatic turn. The mystery deepened when they observed what happened to the object itself as it got closer to the sun. Fragmentation and unanswered. Questions. As 3 I Atlas continued its journey inward, solar heating began to stress the object. For a typical comet, this process often leads to the development of a bright coma and tail as surface ices turn directly to gas, a process called sublimation. However, 3i Atlas did not follow this predictable path. Instead of forming a prominent tail, it began to come apart. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope in April 2020 showed the object breaking into several distinct fragments. This disintegration event itself became a critical new source of data. The timing of this fragmentation was unusual. It occurred when the object was roughly the same distance from the Sun as the planet Mars. This is farther out than where most comets, which are predominantly water ice, would experience such severe structural failure. The early breakup suggests that 3I Atlas had a fundamentally weaker composition. The consensus hypothesis is that it was an exceptionally fragile object. One possibility is that it was a rubble pile, a collection of disparate pieces only loosely held together by gravity. Another leading idea is that it contained a high proportion of volatile ices. These are ices that sublimate, or turn directly from a solid to a gas, at much lower temperatures than water ice. Carbon monoxide ice is one example. If the object was rich in these volatiles, Heating from the distant sun could have caused internal pressure to build up and rupture its structure prematurely. This event raised a pivotal question about its fundamental identity. Was it truly a comet? Just an unusually fragile one from a different planetary system? Or was it something else entirely? A type of object not commonly seen in our own solar system? that simply could not withstand the conditions of interstellar travel and solar approach. The disintegration did not provide a simple answer. Instead, it offered new clues that deepened the mystery. The fact that it broke apart so easily implies it may have been a primordial object. This means it could have been relatively unprocessed since its formation in its home star system billions of years ago never experiencing significant heating or collisions that would have compacted it into a tougher body. While the physical object is now gone, scattered into dust, the data it left behind continues to fuel scientific debate. The clues point toward a traveller that was far more delicate and complex than initially assumed. Its fragile nature provides a unique constraint for models of how planetary systems form and what kinds of objects they eject into interstellar space. The story of its dissolution 
is now a key part of the puzzle that astronomers are working to solve. Conclusion The story of three eye atlas suggests that interstellar space contains a wide variety of objects with unexpected properties. Its erratic behavior and fragile structure provide a valuable data point for scientists. This information helps refine models of how planetary systems form and what kinds of materials they eject into the galaxy. Future survey telescopes will be critical for solving this puzzle. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, scheduled to begin operations soon, is expected to detect many more interstellar objects each year. This increased sample will reveal whether 3i Atlas was a rare outlier or a common type of traveller.